I'm Dushan Sahani, professor of radiology. I'll be sharing with you how I use spectral imaging to characterize renal masses. So let's uh, first look at my image display. I prefer to have a four-on-one display. On my left side at the top is a soft tissue kernel axial um, um, monochromatic images at 70 kV. Um, I like this uh, level of kV because it's a nice blend between the soft tissue uh, structures. Uh, so I go through, then I also have the coronal images next to it. Um, at the bottom, we have material density pairs, uh, the material density iodine on the left, and these, these are material suppressed image. Uh, these serve as a virtual unenhanced images. I can also do region of interest. So let's start uh, with the soft tissue kernel axial images. I go from the top to look for any abnormality in the liver. Uh, here I notice some tiny lesions. They are too dark and I will come back to those lesions later on. Uh, we go down gradually uh, looking at different organs. As we can see, we pass the adrenal glands. We are going through kidneys. Uh, we start seeing this tiny hypodensity both in the left and right kidneys. I go down, I see additional lesions. They are pretty dark. Uh, there is one more lesion. Uh, we come down, we see additional lesions in the both kidneys. And this is a common conundrum. The renal lesions are multiple and we, have, we are confronted in characterizing all these lesions. We go down and then when I see a lesion in the left kidney lower pole posteriorly jetting out of the cortex and the one thing different about this lesion compared to the lesion in the left kidney, this is much denser. Now the question is, which lesion is a concerning lesion? Uh, which lesion requires a bit of an intervention or more investigation? So once I am satisfied looking at these lesions, I will go on my coronal images here. The coronal images allows me to look at not only the renal abnormalities, but also the rest of the organs in the abdomen. So we come back, we see those very well-defined, sharply marginated multiple lesions in the kidney. Here also what I'm noticing in the renal pelvis, there is a little bit of high density and heterogeneity and mild increased enhancement of the ureter. Now the question is, is there an abnormality in the collecting system which can be more sinister? So uh, we go down, we look at you know anything else. I'm satisfied, I don't see any lymphadenopathy. Now I go to the material density iodine images. The way I look at these images is the appearance of various lesion, like this lesion, as we, let's start from the top so we can go down. Uh, once we go through the kidneys, we see this lesion in the left kidney is tiny, but it's very sharply marginated. It's dark, it's black. That tells me by the look of it, this is a cyst. Uh, we go down further and look at additional lesion. Again, the same appearance, dark, sharply marginated, no signal within. We come down and you can see the same pattern in most of the lesion. Um, and when you look at the renal collecting system, which I was concerned about on the coronal images, and I can go back and show you on the coronal images, we don't see any abnormal enhancement or nodularity, which is a good thing. That means this was just a some high density material in the urine, but not a, a abnorm, abnormal tissue. Then we come down to the lesion in question here in the low right kidney and posterior cortex. And what you notice is compared to the lesion on the left side, this lesion clearly has a signal. And we can compare this to the virtual unenhanced images and that lesion tends to be very higher in signal compared to virtual unenhanced. I can also get region of interest on this lesion if I want, just to make sure this is unenhancing lesion and I can get region of interest on both. And look at the values, the, uh, the, the attenuation values are pretty low, which tells me it's not enhancing and the material density iodine images confirm that of all the lesions we see in the kidney, the lesion on the right side is enhancing mass. And that's concerning for renal cell carcinoma and requires more investigation. Whereas all the remainder lesions, including the one in renal pelvis, 
is all benign and we can ignore them. Now let's go back to and look at the liver lesions. We saw two lesions, if there is a renal mass, we want to make sure there is no metastatic disease in the liver. And what you notice is on material density iodine images, those low density lesion tend to be dark. Uh, and that confirms my initial uh, suspicion that these were likely benign cyst. Now, one of the pitfalls to keep in mind is when the tiny lesions, less than a centimeter or under five millimeter lesion, getting accurate region of interest measurements remains tough. So you have to apply a judgment on how they look on material density iodine images and make a, a decision of if we qualify them as a suspicious or a non-suspicious lesion. And this is how I use spectral CT in my practice to characterize renal lesions. I also want to emphasize on the value of material density iodine images in discriminating enhancing from non-enhancing lesions.